I chose to go for this lambskin beautiful classic flat bag and if you're thinking of purchasing one and if you're thinking oh my gosh I'm torn between caviar and lambskin lambskin gets a bad rep but it's not as bad as you think and there's some I think myths that go around about uh, caviar and lambskin and I'm going to debunk them here for you so you can make the best decision for you personally by the way here on this channel I talk about perfume and luxury so if you enjoy these topics uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and follow me on insta at monica underscore where I post a bit more lifestyle and perfume content one reason why I did decide to go for lambskin is because this is the level that Chanel Coco Chanel has designed this bag in and it's a lever that actually Parisian women choose. They don't like caviar or most of them. They actually love lambskin and this is piece of history if you look at all the like marketing um flies and materials from when this bag came out it's all lambskin it's the first lever um that coco chanel chose for this bag and i think it's iconic that is why chanel really loves <laughs> lambskin and really tries to push it but caviar is a favorite at the moment especially in countries like here in the UK or US because it's considered much more hard wearing and I don't agree with that I have done a lot of research before purchasing this bag do I hate caviar no I don't but I think that lambskin is really hard wearing actually and you might be surprised to hear that but i've had this bag for now more than six months it's almost like eight or nine and i actually went into a chanel store and the woman there the essay was like like how old is your bag because she was just amazed that it looked as good as it does so she was like wow you really take care of her and i was like yes i do take care of her but it's not hard to take care of this bag any scratch you can just buff off anything like if i get any makeup on it i just buff it off it's so easy to buff anything in not off maybe buff in any little tiny scratch you just buff 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 and it's gone it's not visible so in that way it's just so much easier it's also softer so i feel like even if it gets like bumped somewhere it doesn't feel that much of a deal because it just moves better it's when you open it and everything it's just such a plush and nice bag to have with caviar it's a bit more like stiff and also with caviar also with lambskin but with caviar you've got super shiny caviar or super dull caviar and it really makes a huge difference with lambskin let's say there's differences but still the differences are not as huge and uh, with lambskin another thing that i love about lambskin that is ages amazingly if you look at all the vintage bags most of them are lambskin and they can be like 30 years old and they look amazing they look shiny they get more shiny and battery with age which i absolutely love i think it's just stunning and um i love the feel of the leather as well it's so soft and so luxurious as i've said before with caviar it's a bit less luxurious it doesn't have that same feel when you really grab the bag it just doesn't you can't <laughs> negate that with the age of caviar um i have heard a lot of issues that caviar leather really rubs off um and you know you might think oh caviar it's really sturdy it'll last me much longer but it's not really the case i'll put some picture here of the rubbing that i'm talking about caviar leather really rubs off especially on the corners it looks horrible you can't repair it whereas with this bag you can often repair it you can buff it out any scratches 
with caviar it literally rubs off and you can't do much about it it looks horrible i've heard this one girl saying that you know she got a wallet from caviar level because she thought oh it's going to be much more sturdy but it's literally unusable after five years because all the corners have just rubbed off they look horrible whereas i've got a lambskin um slg so a small level wallet and yes i haven't had it for long but when i see how they age and i've got even a picture i searched for it how caviar uh, words age and how lambskin lovers age it's completely different lambskin it looks better with age with caviar it looks more just old-fashioned it really does look vintage in a bad way there's not many caviar bags that really look nice they just look off they look dusty they don't look as shiny it's not a nice look and also they rub off so i would say if you're looking long term this is actually a better option because <laughs> it looks really better with age yes you will have some scuffs on it but if you take care of your bag and really buff out uh, all the little things i think mel in melbourne did a little test where she actually scratched her lambskin bag and then she buffed it out you can see it's not that much of a deal you can really buff out a lot of scratches and if you don't like literally take a knife and cut through the bag it's going to be okay it's really going to be okay yes it's delicate but it's an expensive bag you're going to take care of it you're not going to like literally just hit it against a window or something um you're going to take care of it and i must say that i'm really happy with my choice for the first few weeks i was thinking oh should, did i make the bad choice because i was super paranoid about this bag and like not wanting to use it but i've used it i've sprayed some perfume on it accidentally i've like banged it on a couple of things i'm quite clumsy and i've just buffed uh, all of these uh, things out and it looks pristine it looks brand new so i would say in terms of how it ages how easy it is to buff out anything it's just an amazing leather and you shouldn't be scared of it also because it's chanel's classic they'll be able to help you and take it in and take care of it if need be will i never buy a caviar bag that's not what i said <laughs> I might have bought something in caviar, but you might want to see, uh, you might want to come back to this channel later because something might be just coming. Um, I think that caviar bag is amazing for if you want a lighter colored accessory and you want to clean it and more easy, I think that is the way to go with caviar if you are looking for like a lighter colored bag or a slg it's much easier to clean um and less sensitive than lambskin in that sense but for a black bag or any dark dark color i would say lambskin all the way and also lambskin takes in color much much better so if you look at lambskin bags they often just the color is a bit more vibrant whereas caviar bags sometimes the color is just not like it doesn't take it's not as good so i would say colored bags also just just go just go for uh lambskin it's amazing it's really 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 good you shouldn't be afraid of it you shouldn't be scared even if it's your first and only chanel bag go for it i would say if you're a person that is clumsy i'm clumsy i still went for this bag and it's completely fine i would say just just go for it it's not a problem really lambskin is amazing <laughs> i'm here to tell you let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to answer them in the comments let me know which do you prefer caviar or lambskin i would love to know down in the comments and subscribe if you enjoy these sort of videos i'll see you guys all again very soon bye